Your mind is what there is. Everything. But the only way to find that out is to persist in the state of delusion as hard as possible. That's one way. I don't say the only way, but it is one way. And so almost all spiritual disciplines, meditations, prayers, etc., etc., are ways of persisting in folly. Doing resolutely and consistently what you're doing already. So if a person believes that the earth is flat, you can't talk him out of that. He knows it's flat. Look out of the window and see, it's obviously it looks flat. So the only way to convince him that it isn't is to say, well, let's go and find the edge. And in order to find the edge, you've got to be very careful not to walk in circles. So you'll never find it that way. So we've got to go consistently in a straight line, due west, along the same line of latitude. And eventually, when we get back to where we started from, you've convinced the guy that the earth is round. But that's the, that's the only way that'll, tell, that'll teach him. Because people can't be talked out of illusions. Well, now, there is another possibility, however. But this is more difficult to describe. Let's say uh, we, we take as the basic supposition, which is the thing that one sees in the experience of satori or, or awakening or whatever you want to call it, that this now moment in which I'm talking and you're listening is eternity. That although we have somehow conned ourselves into the notion that this moment is rather ordinary and that we may not feel very well and that uh, we're sort of vaguely frustrated and worried and so on and that it ought to be changed. This is it. So you don't need to do anything at all. But the difficulty about explaining that is that don't, you, you mustn't try not to do anything because that's doing something. And how to explain that? Because there's nothing to explain. It's the, it, it, it is the way it is now, you see. And if you understand that, it will automatically wake you up. That's why Zen teachers use shock treatment to uh, sometimes while they hit people or shout at them or cr create a sudden surprise. Because it is that jolt that suddenly brings you here. See, there's no road to here, because you're already there. And if you ask me, how am I going to get here? It'll be like the famous story of the American tourist in England, who asked some yokel the way to Upper Tuddenham, a little village. The yokel scratched his head and he said, Well, sir, I do know where it is, but if I were you, I wouldn't start from here. <laughs> so, you see, when you ask, how do I attain the knowledge of God? How do I attain nirvana, liberation? All I can say is it's the wrong question. Why do you want to attain it? Because the very fact that you're wanting to attain it is the only thing that prevents you from getting there. You already have it. <laughs>